Good morning students. On today's lecture, I'll cover paired angles. On my last video, I have talked to you, talked to you about uh, all the single angles. Now today's turn is learning about paired angles. Paired angles are two angles that have some common characteristics. First, I'm going to do with a vertically opposite angle. Okay. Um, in my last video, I have showed you when two line segments meet at a point, let's say AB and BC, they meet at a point that the, this meeting point is known as uh, uh, vertex and they form an angle. Let's say this angle is theta. Now, if we extend this, if we extend this two lines, let's say I extend this one to this side. So this line segment AB comes to, let's say, uh, P and this CB extended to come to Q. Then what this angle means that what this means is it creates another angle on the opposite sides of this exactly vertically opposite opposite of its vertex. When I fold it through this line, this 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 line segment coincide with this one, uh, this one and this line segment coincide with this one. Therefore, these angles coincide with this angle and they are equal to each other. Since these are these two angles are vertically opposite to each other, they are equal and they are known as vertically opposite angles. So I'm going to just put the first one vertically opposite angles. Okay. And they are equal. Okay. They are equal. Okay. This is vertically opposite angle. And next one is uh, adjacent angles. If I have Let's say this angle A, B, C, again, take that A, B, C, and they are meeting at a uh, common point B, and there is a line in between this, and let's say this is gonna be C, D, line segment. Now, what happened, you can clearly see that these two angles, A, B, D, angle A, B, D, angle, and angle D, B, C, they have a, they, they may may not be equal. So I'll just put another arc over here to just show that they are not equal. They may be equal, but in this case, I'm not going to consider they are equal. These two, uh, these two angles, A, B, D, angle A, B, D and angle D, B, C, they have one common vertex and one common line segment. If we have any angles like that, we call them adjacent angles okay these these are an example of adjacent angles they may may not be equal now in that category i have i have several angles one of them known as complementary angle complementary angles okay this complementary angles is when two angles sum of two angles let's say this one a b c and b d and they're summation this summation is always 90 degree this one b this angle b a and this angle b b if i have a plus b angle a plus angle b equal to 90 degree we call that complementary in this case these two complementary angles a is known as the complement of b b is known as complement of a in this case these two angles angle a b d and angle b d uh, D, B, C, they are adjacent. They may, may not be adjacent. In this case, in my example, they are adjacent. Uh, it can be even like this. Uh, B, D, B, C, that one is B, and probably another one I have, uh, let's say, X, Y, Z, and this is A. And if the condition meets like angle A plus angle B equal to 90 degree, we call that complementary, okay? But particularly this example, they are adjacent angles. And then second one is known as supplementary angles. Supplementary angles. And these angles, when two angles, sum of two angles equal to 180 degree, let's say this is C and this angle is D and name them P, Q, R, S. So this angle D plus angle C 
equal to 180 degree. If I have any two angles such as their summation is 180 degree, we call that supplementary angles. Again, in this case, these two angles are adjacent. They may, may not be adjacent, but in this case, they are adjacent. And we call angle D is the supplementary angle of C and angle C is the supplementary angle of D. Okay, so this adjacent angles in that category, I just have two different angles, a pair of uh, different angles, uh, complementary angles and supplementary angles. All right, next one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a different color. Next one, I'm gonna talk about allied angles. Now, what are allied angles? Allied angles are such that, let's say I have a parallelogram. Okay, it, uh, it may, may not be a parallelogram, but in this uh, example, let's say this is parallelogram. And the adjacent angles, let's say this is A and this is B, okay? They are having a common arm, this one, if I name that A, B, C, D, then this angle A have two line segment AB and BC, and this angle D have a common arm BC uh, with this angle, but another arm is DC or CD. Now these two angles, angle AB, angle ABD, ABC, let me re rewrite it, angle ABC and angle BCD. B, C, D. Okay, these two angles have a common side, B, C, B, C. Okay, then this angle, angle A plus angle, I wrote down D, angle D equals to 180 degree. Okay, and they are inside the parallel line and we call them allied angles. Okay, uh, how they are allied angles, how they are 180 degree. If I, take, I extend that and I put this angle equal to B. Now you can see that this angle, angle A and angle B, they are corresponding angles. In one of my video, I explain uh, um, uh, in full, uh, in details that uh, corresponding angles and alternate interior and exterior angles. I hope you have seen that. In this video, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. So this one is angle A and angle B are corresponding angles. They are similarly placed, okay? Now, see that over here, A, angle A plus angle B equal, they are equal, angle A and angle B equal. Now, we know that angle B plus angle D equal to 180 degree because they are on a straight line and they are forming a straight angle these two summation of them is 180 degrees supplementary angles now i can replace b with a so angle a plus angle d equal to 180 degrees so this is your little proof you can prove it like that that two allied angles sum of two allied angles is 180 degree okay now i'm going to talk about little bit not too much about the alternate inter angles uh, that, that was, I think, C, now it's D. Alternate interior angles and uh, alternate, alternate exterior angles. To understand this too, we have to have a series of line in this case, let's say two straight lines, let's say A, B, and C, D. And one of the line that intersect these two lines, okay? It, they may, may not be parallel. In this case, I put it parallel. This red line intersecting line is known as transversal line, okay? Transversal line, and it forms few angles, let me write down that with a different color. Let's say this is, I wanna use an entirely different color. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now, this is the transversal line 
and look at B and H. They are alternatively placed. They are opposite sides of the transversal line. And um, uh, one is uh, both of them inside the parallel line. Okay, so B equal to H and we call that alternate interangles. That's, let me write down this over here. B equal to angle B equal to angle H. And you can see over here, similarly, angle E equal to angle C angle E equal to angle C. They are alternate interangles. Alternate exterior angle is uh, again opposite side of the transversal line but it's outside of the parallel line. Angle A and angle G, angle A equal to angle G, they are alternate interior angles and D equal to F, angle D equal to angle F. They are um, alternate exterior angles. Now corresponding angles I just uh, showed in uh, little while ago that it's similarly placed they are alternatively placed that means opposite sides of the transversal line and next one is a corresponding angle corresponding angle and angles and these angles means similarly placed okay their meaning is similarly placed similarly placed not alternatively placed what does similarly means different what is this one different from this one alternate interangles means opposite sides of the transversal line but similarly means on the same side of the transversal line and similarly placed think about angle d okay this two line segment let's say this two line segment okay they they form this angle d and i slide it down and it becomes a new position angle d comes to new position at h so d and h angle d equal to angle h and their corresponding angles if you look closely you can find some more corresponding angles examples angle c angle g angle c equal to angle g look at this c is formed with these two line segments if i slide it down then this is g Similarly, I can take angle A equal to angle E, similarly placed, so corresponding angles, and then angle B, angle F. So they are similarly placed as well. So these are all paired angles that you might need to know. Let's go back from the beginning. First, vertically opposite angle, when two angles form, um, uh, opposites of the vertex then they are called vertically opposite angle probably you have noticed that when this two line segment extended they actually form there is another angle there is another angle okay and they are also equal let's say this is alpha this is alpha okay so there are two pairs of angles equal angles theta equal to theta vertically opposite angle and alpha equal to alpha they are vertically opposite angle and then we have adjacent angles when two angles uh, share a common vertex and a common side. We call that adjacent angles. Complementary angles, when sum of two angles equal to 90 degree, they may may not be uh, adjacent. In this case, adjacent. In this case, they are not. Supplementary angles, sum of two angles equal to 180 degree. Allied angle, it can be uh, in the parallel lines, uh, in, 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 in somewhere in the parallel lines, and they are sharing one common side. And over here, I, I think it's better to say that if you have a trapezium, okay, let's say this is trapezium, okay, inside that trapezium, now this angle, okay, and this angle, are these two equal to 100, uh, some of these two equal to 180 degree, you can clearly see that this is less than 90 degree, this is less than 90 degree, so they are not, okay, it's parallel. Uh, lines when you have parallel lines or parallelogram like that it happened and you can see over here too that this C angle C and H angle C plus angle H they are parallel lines and this line uh, forming these two corresponding angles these two corresponding angles so these two sum of these two equal to 180 degree and they are allied angles okay and then I have alternate interior angles I have alternate exterior angles and corresponding angles okay i hope that will help you for your geometry if you have any question leave in the answer box i'll get back to you thank you have a good day